Hi everyone, it's Jerry. This is a game between Larry Christensen, who's playing the white side, versus Anatoly Karpov. It was played in Vikanze 1993, and it's a very brief encounter. In fact, the game itself really isn't of interest to me, but the last move by Karpov is. So let's have a look. Uh, the game opens with d4 by Christensen, knight f6. We enter a Queen's Indian defense a3 to prevent any potential pin against the knight. Bishop a6 inconveniences the queen and only then returns on that main diagonal. Knight c3, c5, building a center, preparing to develop. Takes, takes, knight c6, takes, takes, and bishop f4, focusing on the weakest point on the black side. If given time, there could maybe be some convergence on that square. So before that could come into effect, the knight is kicking the bishop off of this diagonal. Bishop e3, and now Karpov's last move, bishop d6. It's his last move because after Christensen's reply, the game's over, and Karpov resigns. If you'd like to, pause the video, see if you can find Christensen's next move. Okay, the winning move here is queen to d1. A double attack against bishop and knight. Both are unprotected and material will be won. Karpov resigned at this point. Now we could easily just walk away from this game and say to ourselves, well we're all human, we make mistakes and it happens. Something to that effect. But what's interesting to me is what is it that made him blunder? This, this is an open question to you if you'd like to address it in the comments section below or ones that are even similarly related to that question. Uh, my take on it is that, well, there's a couple things I could say. One is that maybe it was overlooked that there was even a way for Christensen to attack two unprotected pieces, or maybe it's more closely related to us as chess players being blind to backward moves and the aggressive or the offensive nature that a, a backward move can have. It's almost always the case that it's defensive in nature, but in this case it's um, the exact opposite. A retreating move that is very aggressive, hitting at these two pieces. What brought, uh, what reminded me of this game was uh, a game I recently played where I made a backward move and I only viewed it as strictly defensive and I didn't see a very uh, a very clear aggressive move that it also had so I wonder if there's something something related to that and I'm looking essentially for your feedback that's really the main intention of this video Yes, mistakes do happen, but what is it that made him blunder? Or maybe even going one step further, uh, what other blind spots might we as chess players be susceptible to during a game? So feel free to just share your thoughts on this, and I look forward to reading them. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.